and we're looking at a trike, but a trike that is not yet finished. So there's a reason why we're looking at a trike that's not all the way finished yet. It doesn't have a wing on it and some other things. But what aircraft are we looking at here first, Sid? Tell me a little bit about the aircraft. This is the Wild Sky Goat. Okay. And this is a tough as nails, expedition grade, <laughs> take what you want, go where you want, land wherever you want. That's the design goal for this trike. As you can see, I would say it it's looks kind of like that. All right, it looks tough. It's uh, this is a, a mostly or a significantly welded fuselage That's is right. what I'm seeing here. Yeah, chrome alloy steel, or they can have a stainless steel option as well. Heavy duty shocks. Uh, you can literally jump up and down on that airframe and not bend it. And you don't see that very often in trikes. No, most people advise you don't yeah, do that. That's yes, right. right. <laughs> that's a bad thing. Please don't do that to my airplane. Right. Now, this one is not done, and right. there's a reason why it's not all done. Tell me what your relationship with the... You're not the builder of the trike. No. Okay. No, so, I'm, not, I'm not the end customer of it. Uh, but uh, the, the company that sells this kit is uh, Wild Sky Aircraft. And Wild Sky Aircraft... Located will, right here in Arizona. Located right here in Scottsdale, Arizona. Uh, they will assemble, not assemble, they'll assemble the kit components, ship They're it up to me. They're a kit manufacturer, basically. They are a kit okay. manufacturer. got it. Ship it up to me, and then I do the assembly either for a customer or with a customer. Okay. And this is one that's in process. That's what can make you a special light sport aircraft. That's correct. They can make you, therefore, or you can, therefore, have an experimental light sport aircraft. Right. But they also do experimental amateur builds. So all three ways you can have this aircraft. Yes, and I can do, we can do as, as much or as little to assist them as, as they desire. Okay, great. Now, Tell me what's involved with uh, putting this together. Yeah. Do, I, do I have to go learn about welding? No, not at all. Almost almost all of the fabrication has already been done in the kit. Almost everything already has pilot holes drilled, so a lot of it is simply drilling, deburring, bolting together. I see. Okay, so a pretty approachable kit then. It, it really do is. Do they need any special tools? Do they need jigs? Uh, how about space? What requirements are needed? You know, there, there's, there's really no jigs required for this. There, in terms of space, I'll allocate about maybe 15 feet square for each for each goat project. Each goat project has its own table, and then I just use the tools and and, and yeah, go from project to project. All those things, the 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 hangar, the tables, the space. You're providing yeah, that. Yeah, we provide all okay. that. Okay. Or they could just. Uh, uh, have us do the complete assembly for them if they if they prefer that. Sure, and that is permitted under that uh, right. rundown of the three different ways you can have this yeah. aircraft. Okay. Let's say they let let's say I bought one of these. I said, look, I I don't want to do anything at all. I want to come out, and turn the key on, and fly it away. Uh, after proper training and all the rest yeah. of that, of course. But. What kind of time do you have to invest to put this kit together? It's going to take me? about a month, probably, to get oh, everything only everything month, done. Yeah. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, no, that's, not that's bad. from someone that has experience right. with it, of course. Right. So uh, an individual builder would take more probably than take that, a little of course. More time, yeah. But still, that's that's pretty fast. That's yeah, not bad. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a pretty simple airframe. It okay. Really is. And uh, how about uh, then? Then it's all done. You finally got it all built for them, and they, you've worked that out, or they've helped you build it, or ideally they would help you build it. That mm -hmm. way they'll learn so much more about the aircraft. You can see a lot of it now that's still not as intimate as knowing how to hook up this particular part to another part or do whatever it is you want to do. Uh, so the kit building is a it's a worthy educational yeah. project in and of itself. But let's say we've got that all done now. Put get it, it back get in it touch signed with. off by the FAA and then typically uh, Wild Sky themselves will will help them put the sail on and help with the first flight and help with the FAA approval process. Okay. So in your kit part in your part of the kit project you're going up to but not including That's the wing. Correct. Is that right? We don't do the wing. Now the wing is a fully assembled wing. Fully assembled from uh, this uh, is North from, Wing. From the North Wing company that does so many of the uh, trike wings these days. So yeah, that's, and, and that's I believe, a fully I believe completed Wild project. Sky has has their own version of a 17-meter ah, wing that okay. North Sky makes for them. Yeah, I know North Wing is good about that. They kind of customize to the need of a yep. manufacturer. Yep. And and panel integration varies. Some people like steam gauges. Some people are starting to actually put glass panels, believe it or not, into trikes. Why not? And also, a lot of people put the BRS parachute in the back as ah, well. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, which would go right about in this yeah, location right in here, right? Yep. So that's great to see, and it's a, it, it certainly looks like this is a what I might call an Arizona yeah. uh, desert flying machine here. All and, right. You know, the other thing which is kind of unique that, that we've kind of gone the extra mile and, and worked to develop is uh, this little 
little item right yeah, here. Yeah, it's that all about there. What there's, am I a, at? there's a limiter tube right here, right, and the sail goes on top. The sail's kind of heavy. You know, more and more guys are getting into trikes that are a little bit older, and it's a little challenge to lift that heavy sail yeah, up or lower it down. Yeah, those be over 100 pounds That's just right. for the wing. So. And so with this, what we have is we have a, yeah. an electric linear actuator here <laughs> that actually lowers very slowly, lowers the wing down. You can control it remotely, and as the wing comes down, you can then fold the wing up, bundle it, and you can transport the wing uh, with this, and when you're done, this thing just unclips and comes out. Oh yeah, yeah. I see up here. You just got it like a wing nut yeah. up here, uh -huh. so you just disconnect that part. Yeah. But meanwhile, this is just a press a button basically. Yeah. And as you said, it's very slow and gradual. That's yeah. that's, that's that's a, a good, good thing. thing. Yes. <laughs> and but that will allow you to get that up there without straining your back. That's or, right. Uh, you know, I mean, no sense hurting yourself before yeah. you go flying. That's the. Uh, and if there's any, as you know, if there's any breeze at all with trikes, they can be a bit of a challenge. Yes, they and can. So, right. They're made to fly. They're made yeah. to use the use the air and they do so I'm, I'm curious to see just how much farther it'll, it'll go all the way down we typically stop it so where the uh, keel is is level and then the wing is up on top of that and gets bundled together and then is transported and to secure it we have a short limiter tube that we'll attach here in here ah, for transport. Okay. okay, because yeah, you got kind of even though this is very uh, substantially built, I see. Yeah. Uh, you put you put a hundred and some pounds up there on a on a lever arm like this. Yeah. And then go bouncing down the exactly. road. Uh, exactly. You're gonna you had the potential to do some damage unless you do yeah. that. So you just got a little. This is just a temporary part yeah, just that you a put in. Yeah, temporary part that we put right here. Gives a little extra support. It. But then. You know, this would all fit in, uh, you know, in a reasonable sized trailer. Would it? Yeah, this it, is the wing it still on now, right? Pardon? This is with the wing still with on. With the wing still about. on. Yeah, yeah. The challenge is the width. You need to get a trailer that can handle uh, the width of these tires, about 80 inches. You need. Okay. So if you have a toy hauler or something, yeah, that works fine. Yeah, 80 inches. Uh, that doesn't sound like that'd be too challenging to find trailers that would accommodate no. that, though. No. But it's got to be long. How long does the trailer have to be in in length to accommodate the, the a wing at all? The wing itself is 18 feet. Okay. <laughs> and and uh, the wing is going to be coming out to about here, so you probably need about a. Uh, I haven't actually measured it because we have a an open trailer. Some yeah okay well, yeah an open trailer would be fine too because yeah. the wing's all collapsed right. and yeah. in a bag and everything right. else. Not going to really be affected right. much by wind. Yep. Uh, you you might not drive all the way across yeah. the entire U.S. <laughs> that way. You actually but, could. Uh, but you that, could. That, right? That's what we're going to do with ours. We're going to hook ours behind our our motorhome this and is your go across the U.S. Back here that's right. Going to haul one of these behind it. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Pretty cool. Have your wing and your yep. home all in one. Package. You bet. My wife's a pilot and. Both of us love to fly, and so we're going to go across the U.S. and have some fun. Sounds like a great time. <laughs> How do we find out more about what you're doing here, Sid? Give us a web address. Yeah, so our company is Kestrel Aviation Services, okay. and they can find us there and give us a call. Sounds great. And you can find more about trikes of all kinds and light sport aircraft and sport pilot kits of all kinds on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Sid Lloyd and myself here at Copper State Buckeye Airfare. You're welcome.